don't be scared to make your own pot sticker or hyosa wrappers. They are way easier to make than you think. This recipe with just three ingredients is just something that you need. Keep watching this video because with my method and recipe, you will never ever buy store-bought wrappers again. Okay, let's start. Here I have two cups of all-purpose flour, which is 260 gram. Half teaspoon salt. Here's 150 ml of boiling water, which is about two third cup, but remove two teaspoon from it. The consistency of the dough is very important. It means that you don't want to use more water because then the dough will be too soft for you to shape your pot stickers. The dough is a bit stiff and that's what we want. Knead for 5 minutes until everything comes together and the surface is smooth. Rest for 1 hour. If you want to be a bit fancy, you can make another version of this. How about flavored pot sticker dough? I have two delicious recipes for you. Gochujang flavored and spinach flavored. Are you the fancy type or the classic type? Let me know down below. Okay, meanwhile we can proceed with our filling. This is my go-to filling. It's the simplest to make with just a handful of ingredients. Here I have a mixture of minced chicken and turkey. 2 third cup or 150 gram. This is around 15 medium sized shrimps that are already peeled and divine. What you want to do is mince them. Using a cleaver really makes the job easier. Of course, you can also mince them in a food processor. Okay, so here I have around 5 medium sized dried shiitake mushrooms. And here is what they look like after I soak them overnight in water. They are fully hydrated and ready to use. Just chop them in small pieces. So to this, I'm gonna add 2 tablespoons of the shiitake water. That's all flavor, so don't throw it away. Half inch of ginger. 1 garlic clove. 1 tablespoon of less salt soy sauce. 2 teaspoons of sesame oil. Quarter teaspoon white pepper. Half teaspoon sugar. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Add more shiitake water as you need to get to this consistency. At the end, I use a total of four tablespoons for the filling. The filling needs to be a bit wet so that the pot stickers are juicy when we cook them later. Okay, now set aside. This is 50 grams of spring onion or half cup chopped. Just have them ready but don't add them to the filling yet until we are ready to fill our pot stickers. This will avoid the filling getting too soggy. I'm gonna show you a brilliant way to cut the dough so that we get our pot stickers the same size as much as we can. Keep pressing until you get the thickness around 1 inch, more or less a thumb size. Now cut into two. Cut each of those into two. Again, cut each of those into two. And then, cut each of those into four. You'll end up with 32 pieces. Coat them with cornstarch. Cover with cling film so that they don't get dry. Okay, now's the time to add in the spring onion that we chopped earlier. What I'm doing now is rolling only one third of the edges of the dough so that it's thinner. Add in the filling and pinch away. If you're doing this alone, then roll two or three pieces at a time and then fill them. Don't leave them out too long also because then they'll dry out and they'll be difficult to shape. I like to use a kitchen cloth to make sure they don't stick. If you're enjoying this video and would like to support what we do, do share our videos with your friends and family. That will help us a lot. Thanks in advance. Okay, now let's cook them. Have some boiling water ready meanwhile. Some oil. Use medium heat. Gently add in your pot stickers. Cook until the bottoms are brown like this. Now. Quickly add around 1 quarter cup or 1 third cup of boiling water in and cover the pan. Cook for 10 minutes until the water has totally evaporated. 
your pot stickers will look like this. Do them justice by drenching them with lots of chili oil. My recipe only takes 5 minutes to make. Thanks for watching guys.